Well, when people talk about contemporary art, they often seem to use this image from the fairy tale about the naked emperor, where uh, an emperor gets new clothes and uh, these clothes are sawn by a very famous uh, uh, person and the clothes are supposed to be invisible. And everybody tells the emperor that the clothes are amazing until a little child walks in and it's like, the emperor is naked. And then everybody realizes it. And a lot of people seem to think that something similar happens with contemporary art, that there are a lot of people paying a lot of money for it, saying that it's amazing, writing big texts about it, but that really it's worth nothing and it's not so interesting and relevant. So that's the idea that the emperor is naked. And what we wanted to do with this uh, little series is to address this question, is the emperor really naked? And in Ines Duyak's exhibition, we of course have a lot of naked people and I think there is something that makes nakedness so funny for kids, of course, but also such a, a strong image because a lot of people uh, still have nakedness as a taboo. Of course, famously, the, the Nordic people go into saunas, but a lot of people are kind of scandalized that everybody sits around naked with their friends there. And um, nakedness, yeah, I think still is something that, that can shock, which we sometimes realize in exhibition. But in this case, it's really also the fact that these naked people have what we would traditionally call deformities. But what Ines, I think, does with that, Ines Duyak, is to, to turn it around and, and make these bodies somehow extensive bodies, expansive bodies, different bodies, and, and maybe it's somehow also a way for us to, in the exhibition room, um, get more comfortable with difference and being differently, even in, you know, a body without clothes.